Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to create a very simple um, text-based animated banner and it'll act as a great introduction to help you then go on and do more complicated um, animated banners but this will give you an idea of how they work, how you make them and um, yeah, I'll take you through every step. Follow it step by step and you'll be able to do the exact same, no problem. So first thing, let's create a new layer. Command N, sorry, a new document. Command N or Control N if you're on a PC. Uh, get in the habit of naming your documents and your layers. We'll just call this banner. Um, find out the dimensions if uh, you have been requested to make this by a third party or if it's going up on your website, you'll need to know the dimensions of the website, the pixel width, etc. So um, find that out first. For this tutorial I'm just going to do 600 by 200 pixels and a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click OK. So we have our basic banner shape and size. Um, I'm going to do a three slide banner so that um, literally means it will be three slides rotating between one another um, and you can choose whether you want it to repeat or just slide once etc. So for this tutorial let's just pretend we're working for a charity that um, raises money for uh, cancer patients and uh, we need to create a, ban a banner that tries to get people to sign up um, so I'm gonna go with a message that will say together we can beat cancer sign up today and then the banner would link to the sign up form or the sign up page etc so these represent each um, of our slides. Slide 1 will say together, slide 2 will say we can beat cancer and then slide 3 will say sign up today. So slide 1 is going to say together. Press T for the text tool and then just click and drag across your whole box, make it fit and type together. Uh, hopefully you've got your font downloaded on your computer so it's your brand font uh, the font that I use on my blog is this one here um, obviously you can change size and everything like that and when you're happy just click on the tick box and then press V for the move tool and then you can like maybe position it a bit more central like so so that's our first slide however you can see in the layers palette we've got two layers now each slide of the animated banner we're going to make uh, has to be um, a, s a single layer in itself so we need to compress these two layers into one so to do that you just need to click on any one and then click on the other while hol holding command or um, control if you're on a PC and you can see that's me selected both of them and then just press command E or control E and that will flatten it and you can see now we have one layer that says together. Now we're going to create our next slide. Now this is a new tool that you might, a new command that you might not have seen before but down in the layers palette at the bottom there's a, a circle that's half filled in and half blank. That's your adjustment layers. I want you to click on that and choose solid color and that's basically saying create a new layer of just a solid color. Um, now you can choose any color. I'm just going to stick with white. In fact, no, I'll go for black. So our next slide is going to be black and then we need the text for that. So again, T for the text tool and just like before, click and drag and what was it? Together we can beat cancer. So together we can beat cancer. Now you can see that you can't see anything it's because my text is still in black so select all command A and go back back up to your tool yeah your controls at the top for text and just change the color okay now you can see that that's too big so you want to go to your um, size and change that I think 72 seems okay and then select the tick arrow it's a bit high up so I'm going to press V for the move tool again and bring it down to a bit more of a central position. And that's our uh, second slide done. But again, like before, you can see we have two layers that represent 
this slide we've got our black color fill that we made earlier and we've got the text I want you to flatten them together into one uh, so again just like before select one and then select the other while holding command or control if you're on a PC and then press command E or control E if you're on a PC and that will flatten it so now you can see we have two layers and two slides and we're going to create the third layer, third slide which is going to say sign up today. So again just like before repeating the same steps you want to click on the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of your layers palette and choose solid color so we're just creating a brand new layer of a solid color um, I'm going to go back to white for this one click OK T for the text tool click and drag uh, and then just sign in fact hold on it's in white so before I start typing I'm going to change the text uh, let's just go let's pretend our this is one of our brand colors uh, here choose any color to sign up today uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put a little dash there, sometimes it's the case. Uh, I think I want that a bit bigger as well, so I'm going to click on the size. I'm using the cursor key here, just pressing up. Uh, it gives me a bit more control. I think I'm good with that. And then select the tick box. Again, V for the move tool. And then we can bring it down to a more central position. And then finally, again, just like before, we have our two layers here. We need to compress them. We've got our sign up today and our, cover, our, our color fill. So again, select one and then hold command or control if you're on a PC while you click the other one. So you can see they're both selected and then command E or control E. So now you can see we have three layers. Next to each layer is a little icon of an eye. Um, if you click and well check and uncheck that that literally hides um, each layer so obviously if you hide them all there's nothing that's shown the first layer then we show the second and show the third okay so that's us got our layers done okay so now I want to animate these layers so we have um, what will essentially be our animated text based banner um, to do that you need the timeline window open or if you're using an older fo for older version of Photoshop I think it was called um, animation window so you either have animation at the top somewhere um, I've got the newer version I think it's called timeline now so um, just make sure that's ticked and you'll see um, the box open up at the bottom of your screen now we're going to be working with three layers and we want three slides or three frames um, to rotate so just click on the new frame um, button a couple of times so you can see now we have um, three frames. It's the same icon that you have when you create a new layer over here or a new swatch up in the top right. Um, so it's quite a standard icon. So now we have three frames. Now what we're going to do is basically tell Photoshop what we, wa what we want to appear in each frame. So starting with the first one we want our first frame to say together uh, we don't want it to, t to say um, sign up today so to do that all you need to do is hide the layers that you don't want just by clicking on that eye icon I was telling you about earlier that's located next to each layer so hide the layers you don't want and then you can see we have together appearing then we want to go to our second um, frame and we want to show the frame what we want to appear and that is we can beat cancer so we want to re-click on the eye icon so the layer comes back into view then go to the third layer click on that and we want the sign up um, slide to appear the sign up layer so again just click on the eye icon and you can see that that appears and then it's just a case of choosing um, the time that we want each slide to appear for so you can see at the moment they're all set to zero seconds at the bottom and um, this part is completely up to you I'm gonna it gives you a selection um, I'm gonna choose other and go for 1.5 seconds 
and I'm just going to repeat that for each frame so that means each frame will appear for 1.5 seconds and now when you click on the play symbol that's located at the bottom of your animation or your timeline uh, preview you can see we've got our animated uh, banner and now all you have to do is um, save it um, however it's not a case of just going to save as or whatever it's a bit different for this uh, when you're making an uh, animated banner instead I want you to go to file and you're saving for web so not save or save as you're going for save for web click on that now a completely different uh, save box will then appear which um, because this is a total basic introductory lesson on um, creating animated banners I don't want to get into anything here so just go straight to save don't start messing about with the settings um, and we'll call it um, yeah, banner gif and you can see that's saving it as a gif file that's why we had to go to save for web it's saving it as a in a certain format um, so that's it saved and just to show you how it works if you go to the location that you've saved it in and right click and open with a web browser you will see um, an example of how it will look and that's it that's a really basic introduction to a text banner uh, and it will set you up to then go on and do more complicated ones with images etc so just upload this to your website or wherever you want to upload it and you can assign a link to it just like you would assign a link to an image uh, so when people do click on it it will take them to the sign up page or wherever it is you want them to go so yeah give it a shot let me know how it goes